guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So it is Sunday. It's a hot one today. Sunday is hot today. Very, very hot. <laughs> Let me just tell you, it is a very, very hot day. Let me say though, you know, it being hot, let's embrace it. Appreciate it. Because uh, fall is soon approaching. And so, uh, you know, we definitely want to embrace the, um, just the beautiful, beautiful summer while it's here. I tell you, it, it just, these seasons, they go so fast. It seemed like just yesterday, my son got out of school and now he's heading back this week, actually. Wednesday, he'll be back in school. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And it just blows my mind that, you know, my, my baby grandson, he is already six months old. Mind blowing, mind blowing. Hey Jerome, mind blowing, you hear me? So I wanna welcome you today. This is the Manifestation Series, live with Carla Nicole. And if you have not yet signed up, for the course that I already have up and running right now so you can take it right after the show if you want to do that I will drop the link or anyone that is already doing it or has the link please shoot it in here so people can see how to get to the course it is a wise mini course and the cool part about it is you can pay what you want it, you can pay zero dollars or you can pay twenty five dollars for the course it's your call but let me tell you uh, modifying your inner circle is vital trust me it's so important when you um, when you are manifesting something um, and I, I want to get real specific tonight because today because it's so important that we have it very very clear in our mind who we want close so I want to talk about first of all the evolution that happens within your soul when you begin to manifest first of all um, let me just put it out there some people are not going to go with you when you start manifesting some things they're not going to go with you because they're going to feel as though you know you're different and you are you're just different because you're evolving you're changing you're getting a little more serious about your purpose. You're focusing on how to advance your, your, your gifts and what you're trying to do to make what you want to be manifested, to come to life. So it's very hard for people to accept the new you, okay? Because they're used to you just living life or existing or just going with the flow. And now, exactly, Ayana, and now you're trying to transform into the new version of yourself and so people are going to take they're going to take issue with it. They may not verbally come out and tell you like I don't like this new you. You may not get that, but you'll start to get people being negative. They may start saying negative things to you. They may start to give you that little seed planted in your mind that maybe it's not for you to continue on doing what you're doing and those people you want to now remove them out of your life. Uh, yes, and Ayana, you'll notice it even more. The stronger, the more, the more things start to manifest, you'll start to see people starting to back away. And some people will say, you know what? Um, I see your growth, and I, I just can't be here for you. I'll pray for you um, in the in the you know in the background, but I can't go with you here. And that's fine. But just know that everybody's not going to be someone that's going to manifest so you stand above you know most people that probably you've had associations with for a long time or a lifetime <laughs> and some people may be new um, so they really are still getting to know you and if that's the case then you know they may they may be okay with your evolution because they're just in the getting to know you stage and as you're getting to know yourself you're like oh well i'm I'm kind of liking this rather than this. And then you'll start to see, well, damn. 
some of these newbies are a little more receptive to my change. Why? Because they're still in the getting to know you stage. So you, they're learning you as you're going through your transition. So those people, you know, may be okay to be close. But your inner circle can't be iffy or spotty or sometimes supportive and sometimes not. That can't be. They have to be consistently supportive of you and your vision. Always. They can't be here and there. They can't be sometimes supporting you. And then sometimes they're like, well, you know, I don't know if I really support this. So if that's the case, then you can't be in my inner circle. You can't be iffy and spotty inside the circle, period. So you just want to kind of start to do your own evo evo uh, evaluations so you can see who truly matches where you're going, okay? You may, you may not be there yet, but you're on your way. So for that, with that being said, you want people that are okay with evolving themselves. See, our inner circle, they have to be sharp, man. They have to be sharp and they have to be people that can talk to you and you value what they say. So this is key, this is key. They have to be people in your life that you value what they say and what they advise you. If they don't really, if what they say just rolls off your back, they're just talking and you're like, eh, what they say really doesn't matter, then they shouldn't be in your inner circle. But the people that contact you or are in your life and they say something and you're like, hold on, say that again? Okay, I need to keep them close. The reason you wanna keep them close is because people that you value can give you give your manifestation value they can actually help your value to actually explode because they truly believe in what you're doing you don't want somebody constantly bickering and complaining about you're never around you're always busy you're never here for me i don't never see you no more all you want to do is talk about what your little dream is but we can't never do what we want to do i just want to go I just want to go shopping with my friend. Okay. Then I'm going to place you where friends go. Friends go here. Inner circles go here. So people in my inner circle, we will discuss things that goes around the uh, evolution of my manifestation. I can't bring people in in my circle that, that aren't truly about my growth or about what I'm trying to manifest. They can't be here. If you want to just hang out with me and we just sipping on a, a, a glass of wine and we're just going out and, and chatting and checking out hot men and all that, if you want that kind of engagement, then you can't be up close to me. You can be cool. We can still be friends. But my inner circle has to hear about the blood, sweat, and tears and what I'm doing to make what I'm trying to create manifest. Okay? So this is very important because a lot of times we see an inner circle as just being people we care about and we love, and that's fine and cool, but inner circle people have to have a certain credential. They can't even be in the inner circle if they're just family or they're just friends that I've had a long time because I don't know if you're going to value, truly value my vision of what I'm trying to do. You may love me all day, but you may love me to the limitation of where you know me to be. You may not love me to my new version of who I am or to my supreme being of who I'm going to become. You may not love me to that extension. So let me evaluate and see if you're gonna fit here. So we have to have some credentials, man. It's fine, but it's very, very true. You can't let everybody know what you're trying to do. You can't. You have to be selective and you have to be very, very, very sharp on knowing who is okay with you sharing the vision. Some people can't know that vision. And the seasoned, the seasoned uh, manifestors, we know that. We know that we can't just go and start talking about our vision and our missions and stuff. We can't do that to, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. We can't do that. Hey, Jay. We can't do that because we have to be smart as to who we allow close in to the vision of what we're trying to create. So while we're creating what we're, what we're damn near hell bent on having manifest, we can only allow certain people in that circle. So your inner circle, you have to modify. 
And like I said, don't base everybody. You have to evaluate everybody. I don't care if they're family or not, or friends or not, or besties or not, or your boo or not. You have to still evaluate who can be up close in your inner circle while you're trying to manifest your visions, your dreams, and your passions. Just what it is. It's not to take away from anything. This is just for the amount of people that want to get busy on their manifestations. You guys have to know this stuff. I can't, I can't help you and have a whole manifestation series and give you half-assed information. I have to provide you with the real truth and the real honesty here when it comes to implement, implementing what you want in your, in your vision and in your, in your mind. Now, here's another thing about how you can pretty much know if someone is really, I don't know, needs to be here when you're trying to manifest. And the way to know that is this. Sit down and start to evaluate. You don't even have to talk to them individually. You can just sit down and evaluate who really has supported you in your life. Who really, who's really supported you? And I'm not talking about by saying they support. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about who really has, you told them you needed them and they showed up. You've seen them, you've seen them help tirelessly up all night with you when you were doing something that maybe they knew might not be you know may not come to light but they still were there to help you those people you need to sit down and say who who are these people that really really care about me actually rising above to my supreme being who is that who are these people and when they see me being in my supreme image are they jealous of me or am I motivating them to do the same? You can't have jealous hearted people in your inner circle. That's not going to work. <laughs> I'm telling you now. It's not going to work. Someone that is very jealous, jealous hearted, and you can tell. We know who the jealous people are because we call them haters. But not all jealous people are haters. Some jealous people just don't want you getting better than them. They want you to be beneath them. They want to have a step up higher than you just because they want you to be just a little bit less than them in their own mind okay so it may not be that they don't want you to succeed they just don't want you smarter than them or better than them or higher than them or whatever they want to be in their own platform where they feel that they're you know the successor and that's fine but you can't have those type of people inside your inner circle your inner circle can give a damn about who's better or what if I have somebody, once I get this show live with Carla Nicole, right? I get a live with Carla Nicole show for real. And I have a production team. I got people getting all kinds of things. The people doing the, the lighting and all that. And I have all the, a, a huge studio and all of this. Do you think I'm going to have people around that have an issue with the being called live with Carla Nicole? That don't make no sense. Why, why would I have somebody on my team, my production team, that has an issue with the name of the show being called Live with Carla Nicole? When I'm the main person playing, when I'm up here doing the work, when I'm up here being, the show is based on me. So why would I have people like that in the production, on my production team? Those people can't have that issue with the fact that I am the primary person in the, on the show, okay? And so these are things we have to think about because if we don't pay attention, there's going to be people that have an issue with where you are, okay? So pay attention to that. There's going to be people on your team that you're going to have to just let go. Even now, you may have to let go. You may have to be like, look, you can't fit here. Hey, Prince, you, you can't fit here because you have a jealousy issue. I can't have pe people jealous of me on my team. I can't, I can't afford it. Because at this point, it's gonna stifle my momentum. If I'm trying to grow and somebody's constantly bickering and complaining, oh, Carla Nicole thinks she all that, blah, blah, blah. you can't, you can't be here, okay? You can't be in my inner circle. You can hate me from over there. That's what you choose to do, that's up to you. But you can't be up in here like that. And so we have to be mindful of those things because Jealousy just doesn't have a place for your inner circle. It doesn't. You have to be very, uh, you have to be very cautious about 
who you let in to your inner circle. If you have someone that's in your inner circle and they hating on you or they talk behind your back or all of that stuff, you, you have to, unfortunately, you have to divorce them from what you're building, from what you're trying to do. You cannot have them in your inner circle. I'm going to move out of the sun. It's blazing. Woo, hot. Hey, Wendell. I'm going to get over here. Woo, that was warm over there. Okay? So you cannot have people. Those keys are hot, too. You cannot have people in your inner circle that are spending time hating on what you're creating. You cannot do that. So make sure you are really being mindful of who is around in your inner circle while you're manifesting your your vision, your dream. It's yours. So if somebody's got an issue with that, then they don't have no business being in the inner circle. Unapologetically. Period. Here's the other thing. Not everybody's going to be in the inner circle, but where do you know to place them? Pay attention. Pay attention. For instance, if you're creating a product line, or you're creating, we'll just say you're creating a product line, and, and you have people that don't have anything to do with the design of your stuff, but they're constantly negative about how you design it. You're like, dang, like, can I get a good... You know, they're not really, they're not effectively critiquing. They're just negative. And there's a difference between how you know that. Because the person that is a part of your team and they really want to see something, you know, really take off, they're going to tell you, well, I like it, but rather than doing it this way, try to do it this way. Or maybe if you could ch maybe change that a little bit to something else, I think it may be more receptive to other people or whatever, for example. But when you have someone that's trying to overstep their boundary and you're trying to create a brand and they're doing all this extra and telling you how they don't like it and why can't they have it this way and what will they want theirs this way and that, they're not. Just, just place them accordingly to what you <laughs> want in your brand. But have those people, now there's another side to the people in your inner circle that I don't want you to miss. You want to be mindful that the people that are in your inner circle that truly want to see your rise, you want them to be someone that effectively critiques your brand, effectively critiques what you're doing. So for instance, if you have someone very, very close to you inside your inner circle and they, they really want to see you grow and they tell you, well, I would do this for this rather than that because I'm seeing this and that or, or the other and they give you really good advice don't shun it don't get angry because I have a tendency to do that sometimes I'll get angry because you know I'm a perfectionist so I want everything perfect but if, if somebody in my inner circle says that I, I'm doing something maybe wrong or I need to change some things and I've already worked tirelessly on something I'm really gonna have an attitude not towards them per se, but knowing that they're right and I have to go back and fix it, that's my issue. So for that, for that, I'm saying it's very important that you sit down and say, hold on a minute. I value this person's advice. This person has never steered me wrong or has never steered me into a direction to, my, to, to, to help me to destruct what I'm trying to create. So let me step back and listen listen without getting angry and take heed to what is being said because a lot of times what they're telling you is going to actually help you prime example you guys have seen uh satori seals quite a few times and on my on my lives he jumps on and stuff like that well he's one of the people in my inner circle so anyway uh he told me a long time ago now this is before you guys even really knew about me and all that I used to be, you know, pretty hot in poetry. I had my own poetry page and stuff. And everybody pretty much knew me by mystery. So anyway, we got into this really hot debate about you can't be mystery. You have to be Carla Nicole. I said, I hate my name. I don't want to go by Carla Nicole. I don't like that name. Never liked my name. So I don't want to go by that. And we went back and forth and back and forth. I don't want to do that. I don't want to change my name from Mystery to Carla Nicole. I like my name, Carla. Uh, um, I like my name, Mystery. I don't want to change it. And why do you want me to change 
my name and we went back and forth and back and forth finally he was like listen if you don't change your name you're not going to be effective out here because people are going to have a hard time knowing who the hell mystery is especially if you're not going to really be rooted in your poetry forever finally i gave in like all right whatever i'll change it fine fine don't even like my name but fine okay carla nicole it is and i griped and i complained for a long time i'm really still not that fond of it but i deal with it but anyway as an example somebody that truly cares about what i'm doing and i knew he meant well but i just really wasn't feeling what he was saying because i wanted it to be mystery i like my name i like people responded to the name i like what it stood for so again he's somebody in the inner circle that was telling me to do something that i didn't really want to do because i didn't want to listen to that i wanted to be someone that wanted to be hard-headed a little bit you know what i'm saying and so in all honesty i'm telling you guys that when you're manifesting something there are going to be times when you're not going to be in agreement with what they're telling you and it may take you a while you hear me a while to be receptive to what the critique is but once you give into it and they really truly have a good you know a good value of information that maybe you don't see at the moment take advantage of it because that person really is trying to truly help you with getting what you're trying to create out here so that is so important because a lot of times when we're manifesting something we're so tunnel vision we don't see nothing else just what we're trying to create so we do need those people that truly sit down and say okay let me help you and they really wholeheartedly want to help you and then when you do succeed they are clapping the hardest for you those people should be inside your inner circle and they should know when you're coming up with new ideas you should bounce off of them and see well what do you think and then you know don't always take everything as bible you know sit down do your research and then really take your time to see what it is you are trying to create and if this is going to help you okay so like i said it's not easy to manifest something trust me it is not easy but it's even harder when you have people in your inner circle that really don't care about you like that they really don't care about your raising up and becoming the best version of you they don't really care about that they're caring more about how can i get what can i get by your association can i get something can you do something for me and all this other stuff so you just keep them at bay it's fine just you know just know that i will be going through and showing you guys how to place people and where to place them at right now i just want you guys to get your inner circle perfect as perfect as possible because your inner circle is going to be the ones to help your flame become an inferno you get what i'm saying prime example I, I use ayana as an example she just tagged somebody ayana shares my stuff ayana takes advantage of my courses ayana does the work she's not just a she's not somebody that just supports me but she also is helping to get my flame that i have on my own she also is pouring more gasoline on my flame to get it brighter you see what i'm saying so you need to have those people in your corner while you're manifesting something so that's very important you don't want someone that's standing there with a gallon of water waiting for the time to douse your flame and then blow you out blow you out meaning blowing out all of your motivation all of your desire all of your your you know your incentives they're not you don't want those kind of people in your in your circle i tell you all the time solo means shine on loving oneself and that you're a flame that's what that means so as long as you have people that's also shining on loving themselves they don't care if you raise up matter of fact they want to see you raise up because you are somebody that they are inspired by period trust me I have people like this all the time that support me. And I, like I say, I don't talk about it. There's people that send me money just to, hey, I want to bless you. I see what you're doing. I got people like that. I got people that just inbox me. Hey, what you've done for me is, is priceless. And I don't take it lightly. I, I am truly humbled. But at the end of the day, I want, I want other people to also raise up. I want other people to also become the best version of themselves. 
the, their supreme being. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're all gods and goddesses. But in order to be supreme at who we are, we must do the work. And then outside of doing the work, we have to make sure that certain things are in alignment. Go back and watch my other videos. It's very important. Go back and do my videos and not only, not only do my, go back and watch my videos, but also go back and take my courses. I have courses out here right now you can take. Awaken Your Gifts is number one. Awaken Your Gifts is a powerful, powerful course. And it is zero dollars. Please, I'm telling you. Zero dollars or you can bless me up to forty dollars. It's your call. You make the choice. And the same with all of these courses. You pay what you want to pay. But it's up to it's zero dollars and up. So whatever you want to pay is fine by me. I just want y'all to do the work. I want you to grow. I want you to extend outside of just being mediocre. I want you to be I want you to be so outlandish that people are gonna be so angry that they're like, oh my god, I can't believe Ayana is doing all this work and, and oh my gosh, look at her now. Not to get my own credit, but I want to see her raise up because when she changes and does what she needs to do, that means what I'm doing is worth the reason for doing it. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, this manifestation series isn't for everybody. This series right here isn't for chumps. These are for This series is for the people that are ready to do the work. And when they're ready to do the work and roll up their sleeves to get the work done, this is what the series is for. See, when you do the work and you really focus on what do I need to do, then it's like, okay, I need to get busy on what? What am I miserable about in my life? What am I tired of? Aren't you tired of it? Aren't you tired of being mediocre? Aren't you tired of just existing? Aren't you tired of saying, okay, I'll just humdrum through life? Aren't you tired yet? I mean, we all have been tired at some point. For instance, and I'm going to get off of here. I've been at my job for 18 years. It'll be 19 years in 2021. I'm sorry, in 2020. I'm not giving that job another 20 years of my life. I'm not. Not giving it to him. So because I, I said to myself, I refuse to give my, my uh, another 20 years of my life to my job, that was my fed up point. I refuse it. I'm not giving you 20 more years. You got the cane jacked up. I am ready to live my life and be in my purpose. I'm going to chase my purpose like I chased many men in my past. <laughs> Shh, don't tell nobody. Chase many a fine man just to be with him. And, and what? How good did that? How good did that do for me? You feel what I'm saying? Chasing a man. How good did that do for me? So now. I'm ready to just chase my purpose. And when God, I told God, I said, listen, God, I'm willing to do the work. I told God that, I think it was six or seven years ago. I said, God, I'm ready to do the work. You know what God did? The very next morning, woke my behind up at three o'clock in the morning and said, I need you to get up and write this. <gasps> what? You want me to write this at three o'clock in the morning? Hey, Mike, you want me to write something at three o'clock in the morning yet? And I want you to call them at the crack of dawn. Get busy. Sleep was still in my eyes. I'm just trying to wake my, my body's trying to wake up like, oh my God, oh my God. God didn't tell me it was going to be easy. God didn't say, oh, this is going to be the first of a million things you're going to do. This show alone. God told me I had to do this at 12 o'clock noon on Sundays. I'm like, who's going to watch me, God? Who? Everybody's at church at 12 o'clock. Who's going to watch me? Really, God, who? And you know what's so funny? God says, I don't want the church people. I want the unchurched to, to watch you. And then I had people that was coming out of church to watch me. I was like, oh, my God. Changed, it changed my life. So we have to get past sitting down and thinking about what we can do to change the planet and it, it, it's, it's an evolution not everybody is going to be manifestors and i get that not everybody it's not for everybody not everybody's going to want to do this not everybody i always tell them not everybody's going to want to take god's call 
when God's calling you and you, you be like, oh, I can't do that. Okay. So it's not for everybody. But understand though, the ones that are called and say, I will and commit to it, we got work and we got a lot of work to do. But we also have to uplift. So as I'm uplifting you, I'm also being uplifted. You don't know how many times I watch my own videos and say, oh yeah, I forgot about that. True story. So make sure you share this video, tag your friends, tag everybody. Because someone on your timeline is wanting to manifest. They just don't know how to go about it. Or they, they have a great idea. They have a great vision. They have great motivation they're 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 diligent on their works but they have the wrong pe people close to them in their inner circle they got the wrong team around them they may even have the wrong spouse they may have the wrong spouse you hearing me that's a close person to try to manifest your your greatness and become more supreme and you got a spouse next to you that really don't want to see that happen that's hard. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, I got the wrong spouse. I'm not saying to divorce them. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that sometimes you got somebody really close to you, including your spouse, that I'm telling you, man, may not really be excited with your growth or excited about you moving forward in the best version of yourself. So with that said, you got to sit back and say, okay, I got a spouse that's really not going to support it. Then how do I go about manifesting some things? That's called, you're going to, you're going to have to do some hard thinking up here about what your purpose is and either get your spouse to see what your purpose is unapologetically and say, listen, love is true and love is, is, is supposed to be um ascending me your love is supposed to be ascending me into my higher self so if your love is not ascending me into my higher self then why are you claiming to love me and you're trying to hold me back from being my my supreme self then why are you doing that to me are you loving me or are you trying to possess me that's a whole different ball game right there and so when we're trying to manifest something somebody that close may not want to see you grow and like I said, it could be your spouse. Hell, it could be your parent. Could be a mother. Could be your father. Could be your child. Listen, it could be your child. The one you gave birth to. Could be like, I don't want you to do all that, mom. I don't want you to do all that, dad. That means I won't have access to you. If you're going to go traveling all the time, when am I going to see you? Of course, it's selfish. But this is real. Feelings are real. Remember, I have a course on that called Mastering Your Feelings. And I have that course and I did that course first before this so that we can master how we are dealing with our feelings because feeling dealings is huge when you're trying to manifest something and other people's feelings can impact what you're doing trust me i got people real close but those that are are not they're kind of iffy as to how much they support they ain't that close they look they think they are but they aren't that close i won't tell them certain things i won't love them but I won't, I'm telling you, it's very important that you take the time and do the courses and, and really understand that these courses are helping you to do the work inside. See, the self work that you're doing is so powerful because as you're writing and doing and answering the questions in the courses and you're applying what I'm giving you and you're putting it into work and to, into practice, what that does is that gets you prepared for the next step of your elevation into your evolution. See what I'm saying? So as you take the course and you're doing the work, you're actually internally speaking the truth inside yourself. Like, I want to be this. I want to become this. I will. And then the next thing you know, you're like, damn, all this stuff is happening. And stuff is moving so fast. It's like, oh my God. But if you're not balanced, if I don't get you balanced first before you manifest something, you're all over the place and have a high chance of losing everything you worked so hard for. That's why I'm giving you this step by step by step. I know it seems like, oh, she's, you know, dragging me along here, but I'm not. I'm doing it in this order because this is how I manifested what I'm trying to do. 
And I'm still manifesting. As I'm doing this, as I'm doing the series, I'm manifesting as well. So I'm teaching and am still a student. I'm always going to be a student. I can't be y'all's coach. I can't be your wisdom coach if I'm not truly, honestly being a student and learning myself. As I learn, okay? As I learn, you learn. Feel what I mean? You better stop that. You've <laughs> got those babies confused. <laughs> but as I learn, you learn. So make sure that you continue to just grow and grow and grow. And like I said, be honest with yourself. If you got somebody too close, knowing too much, you got to start back, back stepping out of that. If you got somebody too close that knows too much, you have to start backtracking that. So what does that mean? That means share a lot less of what you're doing and manifesting. So start to back out of sharing everything. You can still have them as friends. They can still be your family because you can't get rid of them. I mean, they're still be your family, but you have to sit back and say, oh, hold on a minute. Maybe I'm not going to share that today because that's not somebody that's going, hey, Roberta, that might not be someone I can really share what I desire. I might not be able to do that. So let me hold off sharing this. Let me, let me be a little more mindful before I just start talking. So let me be a little more, you know, more chummy with them. Chummy meaning I'm just talking about surface stuff, what's going on with the kids and ha ha he he and just talk about light stuff. But when you get down into that heart, into that whole, you know, juiciness of your vision, that doesn't get exposed to other people, but to your inner circle. Y'all got this? I hope y'all took notes. If you didn't, go back and watch it again on the replay and take notes, okay? And then in this, like I said, Ayana, if you have that link for the course today I posted, uh, shoot it into the link for me, love. I appreciate it. Um, but the course is called um, ah, Know Your Circle. Know Your Circle. And the course isn't long, but the course is self-work. It just It's a video. You'll hear me talking to you. It's an audio in there. Um, it's a form to fill out. You'll also have a question and answer. And then I also want you to kind of sit back and pay attention to um, what I give you or gift you when you go and watch it because I tell you some things in that, in that video that I think is really truly going to impact you to the best of your ability. And it'll make it easier for you to really figure out who fits where, if that makes sense. I want to give a special shout out to my 11 year old son, Braylon. I appreciate and love you so much for recording mommy and it was it was you know bugs everywhere but he he's still with me and um i really appreciate you helping mommy um and he's gonna get something for that let me tell you i paid him his little change and stuff but he's gonna get something for that because he didn't have to do that but yeah so make sure you share this video um thank you ayana i love you so much um so make sure you share this video tag your friends tag people that you know are seriously trying to move they really want to grow but sometimes they just, like I said, they got the wrong spouse. They got kids that really are so distracting. They can't even have a minute of quiet time to even hear what their, what their inner self really wants to do. Um, sometimes they have the wrong friends or, you know, sometimes they just don't have enough insight or their will isn't really where it needs to be. Get them over here so they can learn to manifest. And if you want, just like I said, hashtag manifestation series. You can get your drinks and your popcorn and just watch the entire, the entire series and just take your notes. And as you're watching it, you don't even know I'm empowering you while you're, while you're watching these. Trust me, you're getting empowered by just being here. So that's, that's the, that's definitely the benefit and the, and the, um, uh, gift that I give you guys every Sunday. So again, I'm so thankful for all of you. I'm out of here. I think I went a little bit over. Was it bad? Yeah, a little bit. 20 minutes over, but it's okay. But I really want you guys to take the course. Like I said, the course is pay what you want. It's $0 to 25. So if you want to bless me, that's fine. I appreciate it. But it is $0 if you don't so choose to want. You just want to get a free course. Hey, I'm cool with that. I just want you guys to get this stuff because if you're wanting to manifest, there's no real people out here that's really humbly and doing it i'm manifesting while i'm teaching so this is a whole nother version 
you know, you're getting it while I'm getting it. So I'm like, okay, this is what I'm doing. And as I'm learning, I'm like, okay, let me write this down and get this for everybody so y'all can grow and do what you guys need to do. And, and like I said, I'm always, a, I'm always a student. So if you find out something as you're manifesting, let me know. And I will actually do a course on that so we can get this out. The more we learn, the better we are. All right, we're all a team. Real talk, we're all a team. We are manifestors. Hashtag that, manifestors. That's what we are. And as long as I got, I don't care if I have seven views, it doesn't matter because I know all seven of you want to be here. Y'all are the dedicated and, and devoted to being the best supreme being of who you are. That's all I care about. Trust that. And if you have not signed up yet for my YouTube channel, go over there. It's Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. And sign up and subscribe and all of that stuff. I talk a lot about sexual empowerment and how to get the best information on your intimacy also some wisdom videos over there so hey go over to my youtube channel and subscribe 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 all right i'm out of here everybody i love each and every one of you don't forget to share this video and tag your friends all of them all right i'm out of here it's, oh don't forget i almost forgot you are a flame remember that you are a flame got that get lit Stay lit. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day, guys. Bye.